Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Carnival Phantasm episode number 3. Alright, uh, the previous episode we got a little bit of Tsukihime, uh, not a little bit of but most, like in the whole episode was comprised of Tsukihime and they went to the beach and stuff happened. <laughs> and I was uh, unable to recognize a few characters because it's been a while I've played Tsukihime but I remember the main characters and it was it was a fun episode. Uh, but probably if there was some kind of inside jokes of Tsukihime, I probably wasn't able to kind of catch them because as I said, it's been a long while and I actually did not like, you know, keep myself involved with Tsukihime unlike Fate, which I continued being involved with it. That's why like about for Fate, I know almost everything. Most of the inside jokes I probably will able to get. But yeah, that's not going to happen with Tsukihime because I completely det detached from Tsukihime like after playing the visual novel and uh, yeah so that was that and uh, we kind of saw like you know the whole like you know uh, Shiro being transported into the beach he was trying to make the rocket <laughs> repair it but unfortunately the beach volleyball I don't know what the hell that was made of <laughs> it blasted a hole through it so yeah they he stranded once again and I don't know how he's going to go back so let's let's see what this episode is about so yeah without further ado let's get started so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here think it whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go. whoa what happened wait what why? Low wage? Or what? Nanny? <laughs> well, that's true, you know. Um, I remember kind of doing this as well when I was a child, you know, like whenever I got mad, I was like, I'm leaving, you know, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm definitely leaving, <laughs> but I never left. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. All right. There's a few things that I really remember from Carnival Phantasm, which was so hilarious that I kind of remember even after so long. Uh, one of it was that I remember there was like a race. Yeah, where yeah there was like a race with cars. I remember the whole Bazaka joke, you know, <laughs> Ilias Bazaka. That was so funny, I remember still. <laughs> and there are a few things I... Most of the things I've forgotten, but there are a few things that I kind of remember, which were especially hilarious. Oh boy. All right, let's see. Oh, this is him again. <laughs> She's waiting for him. Arcuedo, that's how it pronounce her name, okay. <laughs> what? Attendance. Yes, his attendance will go down. What's with the ears? <laughs> oh my gosh, your seal is here. <laughs> oh no. Failure of a vamp.
<laughs> but let's go to class. Wow. <laughs> Roost. Okay, calm down. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, she's waiting on the tree. What the? Draws and oh, yeah, this is the. Uh... Oh no. What, what's her idea? Um, oh no, is she? Oh, she's transferring. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I wonder how she got in, like, what strings she pulled. <laughs> oh my god, she's going to be mad. She'll be like, I'm not even in the same class as Shiki. Yeah, how did he get in? She. <laughs> Are you sleeping? How the hell should he? What? He... In this off season? Oh my god. So heroic. <laughs> Oh. oh no. Oh. <laughs> I think so someone uh, explained to me the whole joke about the curry thing in the previous episode. What? Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Oh boy. It's like, yeah, school is not fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> well. Oh, wow. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, she's all happy now. Self evident truth. Oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. School coin. <laughs> Uh. Oh wait. Okay, we're tr transferring to the fate universe. What the? Oh my god! What? Daydream? Wait, they're sleeping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I sometimes forgot forget that she's actually the older one. Like she <laughs> she's actually the elder sister. I sometimes forgot forget. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Well, you also go to sleep. Oh yeah, I, I think that's what she'll do. I can kind of remember. Yeah. <laughs> oh.
Hmm. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. she bit her. Whoa, <laughs> she's biting her. Oh, no. Nightmare. What? <laughs> Up. Oh no. Wait, what happened to Taiga? No. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why is she? Side effect or something? <laughs> They're also asleep. Oh, this thing. Uh, after School Alleyway Alliance. Yeah, kind of. Brigade chief. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Okay, what? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Okay, Maho Shoujo, um, what was it called? Marble... Marble Phantasm? Yeah. No, Phantasm Moon. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, is that Marble Tofu? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Wait, <laughs> and she Serene. Oh, my God, what the hell? Oh, no, Lancer died as well. Again, 68. What? <laughs> wow. Okay. <clears throat> All right, another good episode. Okay, so this was kind of broken down into two parts, uh, Tsukihime and Fate. And um So yeah, uh, the Tsukime part, we, I, this was fairly understandable because they did not, uh, like, you know, put too much, uh, what do you call them, those uh, references, and it was fairly straightforward, there was a little bit of, um, like, you know, like the whole curry thing, I think uh, uh, someone actually explained that to me in the previous episode, uh, so, like, you know, why they kind of, you know, like, uh, what do you call it, um, in, uh, refer to her with Kari, you know, kind of bring Kari references with her. I kind of know what that is now. 
so it was fairly easy to understand what they were trying to do <laughs> and <coughs> yeah like it was fairly straightforward um shiki, shiki um, Arsh arquid yeah i think that's how her name is pronounced Arsh Arsh arquid no Ar arshid okay anyways i'll check it out again let's just a sec all right let's see this rap dojo what Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> Dead super plant. <laughs> All right. Okay, so So yeah, as I was saying, and uh, the first portion was Ashwet and uh, Seal both of them uh you know like kind of the whole thing with shiki that was going on and seal was like oh this is my territory while arshit kind of i don't know how the hell she got in she said like she did not uh, use her you know like powers to do something so how did she get in i wonder anyways um so yeah she she was able to transfer in and then she was like you know what i really don't like school which is <laughs> which is pretty understandable because you know like <laughs> like i don't know like this is like it's like don't get me wrong it's fun in school like you know like you, you get to meet with your friends um and you can have like you know fun and everything but the way anime kind of sh shows it most of the time you know they never show us the boring parts where you basically have to sit down and listen to the teacher for like 20 30 minutes like for more than 80 percent of the school time so they don't show that they only show the fun bit portions where there's recess or any like you know like some sports class or physical education class whatever you know they can only kind of show us those portions and like you know how they like, you know kind of hang around all that stuff like and that's why the, we we see like you know these kind of school love comedies and we're like oh damn that looks fun isn't it well, unfortunately, they are cherry picking stuff, and most of the time, you basically have to sit down, which we kind of forget all the time when we we like you know watch these type of school rom coms and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, um, Ashred learned the like you know the truth here. She was able to realize. She was able to realize that yeah, it's all not all fun and games in school. You have to more like you know like eighty percent of the time you'll have to sit down and listen to the teacher. That's basically it so yeah and she was like you know what this is not for me yeah i'm i'm, I'm going back and she, she handed in the withdrawal letter like <laughs> that that portion was funny when she was like you know so excited and she was he was like so how do you like the, the your first day did you like it he was so excited and i said it's like yeah i'm out <laughs> oh my god but then she comes back as a janitor well i doubt she'll be doing that for long because i'm sure she'll get bored of that as well because unfortunately since she, her main target is associating with shiki being a janitor doesn't help that like if like if being a student was not enough for her i think being a janitor wouldn't be even enough for her at all because if she's a student she can at least like, you know be in the same class as shiki kind of at least i don't know like talk to him little bits and times within the like you know classroom hours but unfortunately for a janitor you won't be able to do that so yeah i'm sure she probably like you know tried that out for one day and she again bailed out so i, I, <laughs> I wonder what she'll do next <laughs> maybe she'll try being a teacher or something <laughs> oh no okay anyways and seal is like oh i knew it this was going to happen so yeah <clears throat> okay that was funny that was the whole first portion and the next part we come to the fate part <laughs> where Ilya and taiga are sleeping and as i was saying like you know i actually forget most of the time that Shiro is actually um younger. She was uh yeah, Shiro is younger than Ilya, isn't he? Yeah, 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 Shiro is younger. 
so i actually forget forget most of the time like you know like <laughs> like this scene kind of made, made me like you know reminded me of the fact that yeah she's actually the elder sister <laughs> oh my god so yeah that's kind of cute the whole uh, thing of like you know like and when Ilya and Tiger were sleeping I don't know I feel like Ilya was actually <laughs> Ilya was actually pretending to sleep because she knew something like this was going to happen and she was ready with everything and she lures in Shiro and then like you know casts a spell on him to <laughs> make him fall asleep <laughs> oh my god yeah and then in comes saber and uh, rin as well <laughs> saber is like you know what maybe this maybe this feels really comfortable and she tries to go in unfortunately rin comes and stops them <laughs> and yeah that was kind of cute the whole part and oh my god Ilya biting rin on her head and a little fight and and i don't know why tiger got like oh i think no no i think uh, they were kind of saying like did tiger also get affected by the spell but i think that's just tiger being tiger you know she, she's she's basically <laughs> that's normal sleep for her but i don't think she's under any spell or something the only one who was under the spell was shiro and like since she he was under a spell he wasn't able to wake up and i'm guessing she, he was probably having some kind of i don't know like some kind of nightmare or something i don't know maybe like you know maybe in his dream kire was sitting down in front of him and feeding him mapo tofu like that's a nightmare i guess so <laughs> maybe that was what was happening <laughs> oh my god I, I think was it in carnival phantasm which where was it like i remember there being a scene where Kire, no, it was not in Carnival Phantasm. It it was in I think Fate Stay. Was it Unlimited Blade Works? It was not in Heaven's Field. I think it was Unlimited Blade Works where. I think Kire was sitting in in the in a restaurant. He was eating mapo tofu, and Shiro comes in. Shiro sits down in front of him, and he keeps eating that mapo. Tofu. <laughs> I think it was unlimited blade works most probably i can't remember which one was it but there was a scene like this <laughs> damn like yeah like that's a nightmare you know like if if within your dream uh, kiri feeds you marpo tofu yeah that's that's really a nightmare so probably something like this that he was seeing so yeah okay that was that that was as i said that was like a little cute little part and yeah and the fate portion was a little too you kind know, of little too small but i'm sure they'll put out more fate stuff in the next few episodes because i remember there being a lot of fate stuff in carnival phantasm which i'm guessing will are going to get uh, more prevalent as the episodes go on mm. <clears throat> so yeah okay and then the little like you know that alliance thing in the end and then marble phantasm where we suddenly um <laughs> skip i don't know like 20 30 episodes now it's episode 68 or something and i don't know why they showed ku ku in the in the marble phantasm universe <laughs> no ku came and then he died again unfortunately like damn like this time ku didn't even show his face his silhouette was all that we saw and he died so yeah lancer died again and yeah that was it and then the last scene of the whole rap dojo thing taiga and Ilya. <laughs> okay and the next episode will be uh date super plan okay i don't remember this do i remember this uh, no, i i have no idea like i'm really surprised that there are a, not a lot but I, I i feel like almost everything i i don't remember i i forgot the whole complete uh Tsukime part you know the first part i i did not remember it at all um the fate part uh of the whole shiro sleeping 
that at the beginning I wasn't able to recall it, but then as soon as like you know I saw like Saber coming and peeking <laughs> and seeing like you know them sleeping, um I remembered. I was like, okay, yeah, so this is what is going to happen. So yeah, it's very surprising. I remember almost nothing. But it is been it has been a while I've seen this, so yeah. All right, I think that was it. Yep, that was it. So yeah, that was it, guys. That was my reaction to Fate Carnival Phantasm um, episode number three. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll definitely check them out. So I usually put out uh, Fate content, FGO content like this every week, one or two times. So if you're interested in more of my Fate content, I'll be linking down the playlist below you can check that out and also another thing um <clears throat> fgo lost bell 5 is coming out uh i don't know when it will it probably be in december uh yeah like on november is almost almost ending so it will be in december so when it will come out i'll definitely make a gameplay video of that because um because i've heard that lost bell 5 is fantastic like <clears throat> Like I don't know what to say. Like fate, FGO con, like you know, FGO story gets better every arc. So like I'm definitely doing that. I mean, I'll, I'll be posting my gameplay and my like you know me reacting to the story as well. I'll do that just like I how I did Lost Well Four. I'll do it in a similar fashion. So if you guys are interested, be sure to subscribe. And as soon as it comes out, uh, within one or two day, I'll be starting my gameplay. So yeah that was it so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching so i'll see you guys next week with another uh, same day with another episode of carnival phantasm so until then goodbye and have a nice day